Hi, I'm Sarah from the Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, hi, Sarah. Hi. Uh, maybe you can kick off with a brief introduction to this absolutely original and beautifully animated creative film, Luck. What can people expect if they don't know anything about it? Yes, yeah, so Luck follows the story of a young woman named Sam Greenfield who uh, has just left the foster care system and is now uh, beginning her life as an independent woman. Um, and she also has, I guess, the most the, the worst bad luck in the world, um, or I guess you could say the best bad luck in the world. Um, and her goal is to get a little bit of good luck for her friend Hazel, who's also in the foster care system, to make sure that Hazel does not go through the same um, journey that Sam did in, that, uh, in the foster care system. So she finds a lucky penny on the sidewalk, um, accidentally loses it and tries to find another one, and ends up chasing a black cat through to the world of, uh, the land of luck. It, it's pretty insane, actually, now that I'm, I'm saying it out loud, but um, Sam learns a lot about herself. She learns a lot about what the bad luck in her life represents. Um, and she, in the end, um, I hope that people see that she ends up getting the thing that she wanted the most, which is the people in her life that don't leave, they stick with her. Of course, you come from a background in musical theater, so I don't know whether it felt like quite a leap to kind of be voicing, um, you know, an animated character. But also, you know, how did you see this character? She's so um, formidable, really, in the sense that despite all her bad luck, she's just got this kind of eternal optimism. And of course, despite the fantastical elements of the film, it's very much rooted in the, the real situation of being in foster care and all that that entails. So how did you prepare to play her? And what was the experience like for you? There was very little prep that I had to do. Um, the script was already there for me, and being as the only thing that the animators needed for me was my energy and my voice, my job was was very easy compared to you know um, eight shows a week on stage. Um, so the process was was pretty painless, and Skydance and our director Peggy Holmes made every um, session I had uh, just really easy, and I felt really supported and encouraged to really find my Sam as different kind of versions of the script were coming through. So um, the, we did, there were a lot of hours in the studio, but it was absolutely worth it because um, all of the, the process and the work and the characterization of Sam, it just really played off. But you know, I, I could only take so much credit because what you see and what you experience in the film is, 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 due, is because of the genius of an entire team that really should be, you know, we should really see their faces too during these press events. But um, yeah, what a great script to begin with too. And what an incredible cast to be working alongside. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Jane Fonda, you know, absolutely iconic women, but also these really hilarious comedians you've got in, in Simon Pegg and Flula Borg. So yeah. I don't know how much time you got to spend with them, but it must have at least been a fantastic experience to be working on the same project with these people. Absolutely. I actually didn't spend any time with them. I didn't get to meet them or, or read any lines with them. And I, I literally met Flula today, at like a two minute meeting. And I met Peggy Holmes yesterday for the first time ever. Um, I, I spent a little time with Simon. Uh, we did a press thing for th this movie in LA and he's a legend. I've been such a huge fan of his work for so many years. So being able to be uh, kind of his sidekick partner in a movie is really, really awesome. I mean, what is it like when you're obviously voicing a character, when you see the final film with all the animation, I mean, maybe you felt a little bit like Sam, like that moment, or I saw parallel to, you know, in um, Jurassic Park when they finally see the dinosaur, <laughs> like just being sort of blown away by it. Is that how you felt to see the intricacy of, of the world that's been created? I honestly, that's a great, that's a great simile. I actually would choose the Jurassic Park example because it, it you when you know I grew up loving animation and watching it so often and just having such a huge um, admiration for it and then watching a movie you know it's a, it's a it's a very homey feeling nostalgic feeling sitting down and watching an animation but knowing that it's something that you did it, I it's a feeling that I cannot even describe and you know we do so many takes of each line you don't really know what's what it's going to sound like what Sam's going to sound like like how her lines are going to play out. So it was all a surprise to me watching it because I'd never seen it before. So every detail that I'm reading in the script, I'm seeing and experiencing in the theater. And it's really is a crazy, uh, that was crazy. I can't wait to watch it again. And the other thing that I was reading about, um, you know, in terms of the world creation is how they did this really collaborative process 
of all the different kind of cultural references of what luck means and how it can be quite contradictory in different cultures, something that's lucky like a black cat and, you know, can be unlucky in another place. So um, did any of that ring true for you? Did, did you have fixed ideas of what luck meant and did it change through the process of being in this film? I did. I, I really thought that luck before being a part of this film was kind of in a in a category of its own, like very superstitious and there were rules and it, it only affected some people. I just had a lot of weird random ideas about luck. Um, and of course, you know, no one wants to think they have bad luck. But then after meeting Sam and her being kind of titled like person with the most bad luck in the world, you seem to, re you seem to come to realize that like, she doesn't have bad luck, and if, even if she did, she has also has good luck because she's a good person, she has good people around her, and I would consider her maybe a person who has bad luck but is an extremely lucky person, which I think a lot of us can relate with with the current climate of the, of the world right now. <laughs> Yeah, it was going to kind of be my next question, really, is, you know, in terms of takeaways and the themes, I mean, not only is it just kind of a joyous ride to go on, but there's definitely a, a message there that perhaps sort of the, the black and white ideas of, um, you know, good luck, bad luck, actually, you know, even people who've been through adversity might even say, well, I wouldn't change anything because I wouldn't be who I am if I hadn't been through those experiences. So, so one is the other side of the other. Absolutely. And, we, you know, we can't have good luck without bad luck and I think hopefully audiences audiences will leave and feel uplifted and also feel first and foremost like they know exactly who their forever family is. It's a re kind of a reoccurring theme in the movie of Sam really wanting to find her forever family um, having grown up in the foster care system. That's something that she never had. So I hope that people leave and they know exactly who their forever family is and they feel like they can go to them and do life with them and feel supported by them. It's just something that humans all need to have and deserve to have. Um, and also that bad luck isn't just one thing. There are so many, you know, there's, it's a lot more complicated than it just being black and white. And um, you see that, you know, sometimes something really annoying happens in your life and it might be emotionally painful, but then later down the road, you know, it ended up being something that was really great for you or it taught you a lesson or um, it brought something to you that you didn't even think that you wanted. So. Um, none of us are fortune tellers. I mean, maybe we are. That's so cool if you are. I'm really impressed if you are a fortune teller. I'm not. So I can't, I can't say that bad luck only creates bad things. And definitely if you feel like you have bad luck, it also does not mean that you're a bad person. I believe that as well. And of course, coming from musical theater backgrounds, the music in the film must have been like a really key element for you. And it feels very important to the storytelling. So um, what was it like, you know, being involved in such, you know, an incredible film in terms of the music? Yeah, well, I, I didn't know that there was going to be any singing in this film when I signed on. Um, they kind of just threw the idea out there in the, during the process, and I was like, sure, you know, 30 minutes in the recording studio, and we, we got it down. So that was a really fun day. And in terms of your own career, um, you know, have you got a taste for kind of doing this kind of work now? Um, are, you, are you taking your musical theatre work further? What's going to be next for you? I don't know how to take musical theatre work or any work further. I don't believe that there's a... Uh, there's a a goal for success when it comes to, you know, what projects you do as an actor. I just like doing things that I enjoy um, and that challenge me and that I really want to do. So as of now, I'm, I'm doing eight shows a week. That's like what I, that's my job. I'm so thankful to have a job, but um, so we'll see, you know, I, I will say yes to any opportunity that I feel like is the right one for me. So we'll see what happens next. Do you have any particular musical theatre show or film director or role that you would like dream to play? Not really. I, I'm already kind of living the dream right now. I get to work at this amazing show and, and play opposite of my partner. And so I, I, you know, I'm a very lucky girl to have the, uh, the life that I have right now. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Can't wait everyone else to see luck. Thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Yeah, you too.